Hey, welcome to the Biochemistry Academy. In today's video, we'll talk about phospholipids. What are phospholipids? Phospholipids are a type of compound or complex lipids that contains fatty acid, an alcohol, a phosphoric acid, and a nitrogenous base. Structure of phospholipids Two fatty acids are attached to the glycerol at the C1 and C2 position and at the C3 position it is attached to a phosphate group. Now this phosphate group is later attached to a nitrogenous base or alcohol. This nitrogenous base or alcohol can either be choline, serine, ethylamine, and inositol. Both the nitrogenous base and the phosphate group it was combined together to form a polar hydrophilic region, which means water loving. Now, this polar hydrophilic region is what we call the head. Then, the two fatty acids are the non polar hyd hydrophobic region, which is known as the tail. Now, because of the polar hydrophilic region and the non polar hydrophobic region, it's what makes the structure of phospholipid an amphiphatic molecule. It should be noted that phospholipids are the major constituent of the cell membrane, which is the lipid bilayer that we know, which allows certain substance into the cell and prevents certain other substance from entering into the cell making it semi-permeable. Classification of phospholipids Phospholipids are classified based on the type of alcohol that is present. If the alcohol that is present is glycerol, it is known as glycerol phospholipid or phosphoglyceride. If the alcohol that is present is spingosine, it is known as spingo phospholipid or sphingomyelin. Now let's talk about glycerol phospholipids. If you remember, we say glycerol phospholipids are lipids that contain glycerol as their alcohol. Now, glycerol phospholipids are further classified into two. One, the glycerol phospholipid with nitrogenous base and the other without nitrogenous base. In the classification of glycerol phospholipid with nitrogenous base, we have lecithin, which is also known as the phosphotidylcholine. We also have cephaline, which is also known as the phosphotidylethylamines. Then here we have the phosphotidyl serine and the plasma logene. Then in the glycerol phospholipid without a nitrogenous base, we have the cardiolipins which is also known as diphosphatidylglycerol and to phosphatidyl inositol. Before we begin to talk about the examples of phospholipids, let us first understand what phosphatidic acid is. They are the simplest form of phospholipids. It does not occur in good concentration in the tissue. Basically, the phosphatidic acid is an intermediate in the synthesis of triglycerol and other phospholipids. The other glycerol phospholipids contain different nitrogenous base or other group may be regarded as the derivative of phosphatidic acid meaning that phosphatidic acid is very key to the synthesis of other phospholipids. Okay, let us talk about phosphatidylcholine. They are the most abundant phospholipids of cell membrane, like about 50% of the cell membrane. Now, they are involved also in the formation of lipoproteins and also in the esterification of cholesterol. Choline is the base 
the nitrogenous base that is present. Because we should remember that choline are largely stored and served as important neurotransmitters. For example, acetylcholine, dipamitol, lecithin. When two fatty acids, which are pamitol, attach to the glycerol backbone, which is then attached to the phosphate group and the nitrogenous base choline. Now, it is an important phosphodetail choline which is found in the lungs. It acts as a surface active agent and prevents the adherence of inner surface of the lung due to surface tension. Respiratory distress syndrome in infants is a disorder which is characterized by the absence of dipamitoyl lecithin. The second type of glycerol phospholipids with nitrogenous base is the cephaline, which is also known as phosphosidyl ethylamine. Now, the thromboplastin, which is required for clothing process, is composed mainly of cephalines. The third type of glycerol phospholipids is the phosphotidyl serine. Now, the glycerol attached to two fatty acid and the phosphate group is attached to the serine. Now, it occurs in 10% of phospholipid in mammals and it is one of the components of biological membrane. They play a key role in the cell signaling, especially in cell death, which is known as apoptosis, a programmed cell death. Now let us look about the glycerol phospholipid without a nitrogenous base. And the first one is phosphatidyl inositol. Now, the two fatty acids attached to the glycerol at the C1 and C2 position. Then at the C3 position, it is attached to a phosphate group. Now this phosphate group is attached to a myo inositol and they act as a second messenger for the action of hormones, for example, oxytocin and vasopressin. The second type of glycerol phospholipid without a nitrogenous base is the cardiolipin. Now, in this particular structure of cardiolipin, two phospholytic acids are linked together by a glycerol alcohol. And this cardiolipin, they are the major lipid of the mitochondrial membrane. If you remember, the mitochondria is the power house of the cell, right? Now, they are the major lipid of the mitochondrial membrane, which is necessary for the electro transport process. And this is the only phospholipid that is antigenic. The second type of phospholipid are the spingophospholipid. Now, in this phospholipid, spingosine, which is an amino alcohol, is present in the spingophospholipid. They do not contain glycerol at all. The spingosine is attached by an amide linkage to a fatty acid to produce ceramide. The alcohol group of spingosine is bound to phosphoryl choline. In spingomyelin structure. Spingomyelin are important constituents of myelin and are found in good quantity in the brain and in the nervous system. Ceramide, they act as a second messenger which is a signaling molecule by regulating programmed cell death which is the apoptosis that we know about cell cycle and cell differentiation. A ceramide contain a 30 carbon fatty acid is a major component of skin and regulates skin water permeability.